Welcome to VLR. This is my channel where I primarily do reviews of everything other than vacuum cleaners. As you may or may not be aware of, my 21-year-old son just bought a house. And with that house came a yard. And with that yard came grass. Now he only has uh, maybe an eighth of an acre or something to mow. So we didn't need to go and get anything crazy. So I suggested to him, I said, hey, look, maybe we can find a brushless battery powered lawnmower, you know, no oil, no gas. You don't have to worry about changing the oil, changing the filters, fiddling with stuff like that. And maybe, just maybe, we will have something powerful enough without spending too much money that will work on his yard. So that's the key. I know there are mowers that are much more expensive than this, but it's completely unnecessary for acreage that's as diminutive as this. So how about we go and open this one up? Can you see that? Yep. So it's exactly what it says it is. And part of it's kind of upside down. Maybe I'll flip it over. It's a 40 volt, not the 20 volt. I've heard there's lots of problems with that. It's just not enough power, not enough voltage. This is the 40 volt heart, exclusively sold at Walmart, with a 6 amp hour battery. I always wonder which way is the one that's up. Well, let's try this. So here's here's what it says. 20 inch deck size. Things up to a half an acre. He's nowhere near that. All power, no gas. Easy start. Blah blah blah. All right. Let's see how that thing comes out of the box. This one bags, mulches, and side discharge. Oh look, it looks like, a, yeah, this is the right way up. So that's good. Happy about that. So we have a battery charger. I see that. I don't see the battery yet though. But there's a charger. And that's a yeah, that's a high speed charger. Okay, that's great. And here's some plastic pieces, probably for a side discharge, and then I'm guessing there's probably a, mul a mulch attachment. Okay. Bagging attachment. All right, let's keep going. I'm still not seeing a battery. Let's see, is this all? All right, so this is going to be this is going to be for the bagging attachment. Get that out of the way. Let's see what's the best way to lift this thing. There that is. I am still searching for the battery, however. I have not found the battery. Oh, some heavy in here. And I'm guessing this had better be the battery. getting kind of worried for a minute. So this was about 
Yeah, and it comes in here, its own its own package. Here. Don't fall. Can you still see everything? Yep, that's good. More or less. Yep, six amp hour battery. So this battery, if I'm remembering right, I thought I saw that it's a hundred dollars to replace. But man, is it a monster. There you go, look at that dude. Six amp hour, 40 volt lithium ion. Got the little release mechanism here. Oh, here we go. Lights, do we have any lights? One light, okay, so you know uh, first thing we're gonna have to do is charge it so there's everything that i can show you i think with the battery So it says it can take like up to two batteries, but here's the thing. One battery will give it power, and the other compartment is for storage only. It only runs on one battery at a time. I will show you that. Let me, let me make some room here. Get this out of the way. Let me show you the charger. So yeah, this, this is a big charger. This is a big high-speed charger. I have some Cobalt products and they have a charger that's not quite as big as this. And it was for a four amp, um, 20 volt battery. So if this is gonna do six amps at 40 volts, this has to be fairly heavy duty. Oh yeah, look at that. So 194 watts, let's see if I get that real close. I guess that's the maximum rate, 42 volts. So let's see, um, hmm. I'm gonna have to swing you around here. And let's move the camera so you can see better. So if we lift the cover here, looks like since we have some power pins, this is where the battery would go. And I think it's probably going to slide in like, like that and click. Okay, this one right here, it just says storage battery. So that's, that's all it says. And I don't know what that's for. I haven't, I haven't looked up. Um, doesn't say. Uh, maybe it's some kind of emergency release of whatever it is, but I haven't looked in the manual to see what that little, that little red uh, protrusion is. And of course, this should come down. Oh, it's just magnetic. Okay, so it doesn't click. It's just there's a little magnet right here in here. That's it. 
piece of metal and a magnet, that's all. Alrighty then. Now one of the coolest things you can do with some of these electric mowers is literally tilt them up on their hind end so they take up less space. So I've got a Honda mower and I go and kind of store it more or less like that in my garage. But I mean, look how much floor space that actually takes up. So this should be able to tilt up on its hind legs like this. And then of course you'll probably stand it up like that. Although you could stand it up the other way, showing the blade. I'll show that. I don't recommend showing the blade because if you have a little interested fingers, they'll probably want to play with it. There. And that's, that's as far back against the wall as I can get. So there's the blade. That's just so weird. <laughs> So, I've never had an electric mower before, although I have used one briefly a long time ago, and they weren't very good. So, this is, um, this is very different. Wow. Okay. Well, let's just hear it for, for low maintenance, right? So, I think at this point, um, we're probably going to have to charge the battery. And, let me see... we raise this handle up. Maybe we can run it for a second or two. So the handle is locked. So see, it's locked here, won't do anything. So I think you gotta do this. Yep, they both click. Okay, now I'm lift this up. They come around, and you probably have to click them back in place. Yep. Okay. All right. That's solid now. All right. That's great. And well, I guess this is really already in in mulching mode. Um, you would probably go and slide this in uh, like. Let's see here. There. Clicks in like that. There. It doesn't look very pretty, but there it is in side discharge mode. So it's got, it's got little tabs on the side discharge accessory. Yeah, right, right here and right here. And they actually slot in. They don't click in. All right. So let's see. I think you can see the whole mower. You make a small change here, a little bit closer. All right, let's see if it turns on at all. So, got the safety bar, the veil here. I'll do this, and then I'm going to push the button. That's great. Pull the veil. That's wonderful. Okay, so the next thing I think we should go over is the height adjustment. And that's kind of unique as well. So right now, it's set to one and a half inches and it says maximum height is four inches. So one and a half inches is probably a little, uh, little low for most people. So I'm gonna grab this handle, come out of the release parking position, and let's just go about halfway. Oh, isn't that nice? And then you just park it, you park it again. Kind of eat, eat, or. That's that is so easy to chain. Let's take all the way up. We'll go all the way up. Oh, almost there. You have to struggle to get it to four inches. That is that's way <laughs> off the ground. That is really that's a high cut. And of course, oh wow, it's a little stiff there. That's all the way down to bottom, one and a half inches. So we'll we'll start somewhere in the middle. But that is really easy and quick to change height. That's great. I've just plugged the charger in, 
and the red LED light comes on. Here is the giant battery. Oh, it's like a, it's like a big shoe. So let's see, I'm gonna turn this around so hopefully you can see this a little better. Cord's a little short, what I'm trying to do it for. Okay, here we go. Slide it in, and now it's blinking green. It says it's charging. Let's see, here's the legend for what it's trying to do. If I can avoid dropping this. See, charging is just flashing green. Let's see if I can get that a little closer. You know, without dropping it, can I, there, how about that? So we got flashing green for charging. Charge is just gonna be solid green. And then solid red is power. Oh, okay, so solid red is perfectly fine if you're not doing anything. Uh, blinking red says testing. And then some kind of intermittent uh, blink is error. So that's it. That's that's what we're doing right here. So we're going to charge. Oh, let's see. Does it? Uh, and on the battery itself, that's kind of handy. It shows you that it's actually charging. It's flashing. Great. Okay. Now this is going to be probably mm, a couple hours before this is ready. So. Stay tuned, and hopefully we can do a cut if the grass isn't too wet. And now let's figure out how to get the grass catcher assembled and installed. this rear cover and you have where they sit on right there and there so it just sits right on release that rear cover and now it's solid and of course to remove it lift up on the rear cover and then lift straight up on the grass catcher and then go ahead and empty away you do have a nice little handle I guess you can use to shake it so the entire idea of this mulching plug is to block up this area right here. So let's see how to do that. We will lift up this rear cover, grab this by the convenient handle hold, or at least that's what I'm gonna call it. That's, that's kind of nice. And then should be just slide it in and I think it should click. I think, maybe not. Let's see, am I aligned right? Ah, there, okay, all right, well, the hand, yeah, all right, I'm seeing what's going on here. So the handle will actually kind of go boing a little bit. So you push it forward, get that, see that, look at that, it's a little, it's a little cockeyed right there and a clunk there. That'll make sure that it's in there. All right, so these two pieces have to be slotted correctly right there. If they're not, and it's kind of like, kind of like that, yeah, that wrong, that, that's not gonna work. So, let's see, can you do that with holding on to the handle that way, lift it up? Yep. Just make sure that that's solid, however you decide to install it, and flush. And then, go ahead and put the cover back down. Now you're ready to completely mulch the right way. So, believe it or not, on the very same day that uh, we acquired this mower, the HOA sent my son a mow it or get fined thing. And we've only been here, well, a few days. So, gotta get mowing.
Yeah, it works out pretty well. I mean, look, it's a $300 electric mower. It's not like a $500 seven or eight horsepower gas mower. It's fine. So, so far, I've only used one light, so it's got 75% charge roughly still left. Okay, I believe I'm done with the mower. It's starting to rain, but I still need to use the trimmer, and I'm still at three out of four lights. So, I may have actually mowed, whoops, you can't see that. I may need to actually set the mow height a little further down, but uh, it's done a good enough job for now.